viewers and subscribers welcome back to the sports perspective tv you know as always thank you for being here you know really appreciate you taking your time out to watch the video you know and interacting with the video as well so in this one we're going to be giving you a, a quick update on the latest released um icc um rankings um a few west indian bowlers you know are in um the top five of the t20 rankings and um a few of our other players as well, you know, are in the, the top 10, in and around the top 20. You know, also going to be providing you with um, updates regarding the team rankings as well, from a T20 standpoint, test, and uh, one day internationals as well. So, just stick around to the end of the video, you know, while we discuss all of these things. Um, but before I get into the details, though, just take a quick second, you know, um, to hit the like button, you know, and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so as yet. You know, two really simple things you can do to support the channel, but it, it's very, very important, you know, in terms of helping the channel. So we'd really appreciate it if you just take a quick second to do that. Right. So now that you've gotten that out of the way, I'm hoping that you, you did like, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be starting with the team rankings first, and then I'll get into the, the individual rankings for, for the players. Right. So um, as it relates to um, the T20 rankings, um, the West Indies are currently ranked third in the T20 rankings. You know, they've been idle for a while, you know, but nevertheless, they're, they are maintaining their position, you know, up in that, that top three, top four era. Um, they are at the top of, of the team rankings in T20s are in there. No surprise there, you know, considering the fact that they are, they won the T20 World Cup. In second place is Australia. You know, West Indies are in third, England fourth. And then you have New Zealand and South Africa who are tied for, for fifth, right? New, South, New Zealand in fifth, South Africa in sixth, but they are tied on points. Um, as, as far as it relates to um, the ranking, um, the rating points, um, 10, um, 12 points separates West Indies and India at, um, who are at number one. And, 10, and two points separate West Indies and Australia um, for that number two position, right? So it's, 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 it's really close, you know, in the T20 rankings um, for the teams in, in the top five. Um, in the ODI rankings now, though, West Indies are ranked at 10th, you know, all the way down at 10th. So they're, they're nowhere close um, to the top top three in the the, um, the, the one-day international um, arena. Um, India, you know, occupies the top spot in, in that as well, you know, followed by Australia. So India and Australia are dominating both T20s and uh, one-day international rankings. Um, South Africa are in third. Pakistan in fourth and New Zealand in fifth. So that, that's the top five for um, in terms of the ODI team rankings. Uh, when you go to the test rankings now, here we also have India and Australia being dominant again. You know, Australia um, are, are, are a top, however, you know, followed by India. So in all three formats of the game, you know, Australia and India are the dominant teams. Australia... Um, getting the better of india in the test ranking so australia are in um first india second england third south africa fourth and new zealand are in fifth the west indies come in at in seventh place in the, the test rankings so not as bad as the the, the the odi rankings but still could um would love to see us you know doing better you know um but it's going to take some time though i must say right so that that's far as far as it goes for our team rankings um Moving, moving on over now to the, the, the individual player rankings. And I'm going to, um, for the player rankings, I'm going to focus mainly on the T20 rankings. Um, and if time allows, I might do um, the, the ODI rankings as well, right? So in terms of um, batting in the T20 format, um, our only player in the top 10 is Nicolas Poran. So Nicolas Poran is ranked at number 8. In the, the, the T20 format for batting, um, he is followed by, from a West Indian standpoint, that is now, by Johnson Charles and Brandon King. You know, they, they both are tied for, for the 12th position. And then we have, um, so Puran, King and Charles are the only players we have in the top 20 of the, the, the batting rankings in the T20s. And we'll definitely like to see that improve, you know, um, especially, you know, seeing how well some of our players are doing in the CPL. You know, hopefully that can be translated to the international format as well when they are representing the West Indies. And we can have more of our players in the top 20 of the, the, the batting rankings, T20 batting rankings, um, right? So then you'd have to go all the way down to number 31, where you'll find Shea Hope, 
you know, so after King and Charles at number 12, then you have Hope at 31 and Ravman Powell at 37. So those are the top five uh, batters for the West Indies as far as ranking is concerned in the T20 format. Um, again, Puran at 8, Charles at 12, King also at 12, Hope at 31, and uh, Ravman Powell comes in in the 37th spot. Um, in the bowling now, this is where um, we are really, um, I would say, making moves. And it, it, it's it's ironic, right? Because, you know, um, when you think about a West Indies T20 team, right, um, most people normally say the, the bowling is the weakest area of the team, right? Um, most of the times, whenever a West Indies team is selected, you know, the concern is always about the bowlers. But that's not reflected in the T20 rankings. So in the T20 rankings, you know, we have... Um, Akil Hossein is actually ranked second in the world in the T20 format, bowling rankings. And Gudakesh Moti is ranked at number four. So Moti actually fell a spot. He was ranked at third in the, the rankings that were, 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 were released before this one. You know, but nevertheless, you know, West Indies have two bowlers in the top five of T20 bowling rankings. Um, just going over the top five for you. So you have um, Adil Rashid, you know, he's in the number one spot, followed by Akil Hossein at second. Third, is the Afghanistan, you know, um, maestro Rashid Khan. You know, he's in the third spot, followed by Gudakesh, Mo uh, Gudakesh Moti, who is ranked at number four. And you have um, Hasaranga, the Sri Lankan spinner, finishing out the top the top five. So when you look at the top five in the T20 format, you know, it's all spinners, right? So spinners are dominating the, the bowling rankings in the T20 format. Um, from a West Indian standpoint now, um, after Akil Hossi and, and Gurakesh Moti, then we have uh, Alzar Joseph coming in in the number 17 spot. You know, and they are um, the, the only bowlers, West Indian bowlers, in the top 20 of the rankings. So West Indies have three bowlers in the top 20 of the T20 rankings. Um, so I, I would say that's decent. Again, like I said, you know, our bowlers are considered, considered the, the weakest part of the team, right? But, you know, we're seeing here that you know, um, in the rankings, you know, our bowlers are, are doing um doing well, you know, especially our spinners, you know, um Monte and Akil Hussein, who who are um our lead spinners, you know, in, in the team. You know, um when Rastan Chase plays, then you know Rastan Chase is there as a third spin bowling option. But Gudakesh Monte and Akil Hussein, you know, they are the ones that are normally expected to either get wickets and um in the in, in, in terms of Akil Hussein, you know, get us off to a good start in the power play both by getting wickets and restricting the batsman moti you know coming in in the middle overs you know restricting the batsman and also getting wickets as well and they've been doing that 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 very well so good to see they're they're being rewarded for their brilliant performances by climbing up in the rankings azari has been uh, a bit off form you know didn't play in the last series against south africa you know but he had a good world cup and um i'm expecting him to to come back you know um and, and do well so he's in the number 17 position you know he's having a decent cpl right now as well you know i think he currently he's the second highest um wicket taker in the cpl so he's having a decent cpl so that, that that's good to see that he he's coming back into some sort of form you know with the upcoming t20 series um as well right so but i'm going to stop it here for for now viewers and subscribers you know i won't um I won't, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Um, I'm going to also share the, the, the ODI um, rankings. If you just give me a quick second, you know, I might as well just do it, right? Seeing that we're, we're um, doing um, the rankings videos, right? So in terms of the, the batters for um, in, in ODIs, Shea Hope is our highest ranked batter in ODIs. You know, he's ranked at number 12. Um, the number one batter in ODI is, is Baba Azam. Rohit Sharma is at two. Shubman Gill at three. Virat Kohli at four. And Harry Tekta, the Irishman, he rounds out the top five. So we have three Indians in the top five of the, the ODI batting rankings. Um, our highest um, batter is Shea Hope at number 12. Then you would have to go all the way down to... She hope is actually our only, but all the way down to 86 for the next West Indian batsman. So that that just goes to show how poor we're doing um in the, the ODI format. Um having only one batter in the top 50. Bowling wise, um 
I, I, I would say it's probably something similar, but let me just pull it up while we're discussing it. So our highest ranked bowler in the ODI format is Azar Joseph. He's at 44, followed by Gudakesh Muthi, who is at ranked at 50. So again, in the ODI format, we see where our bowlers are doing better, um, better than our batters. See him as the T20 format. So, you know, as fans, we might need to stop saying our bowling is the weakest and start, you know, looking at the batting. You know, I know, you know, we we uh, we tend to, to glorify batting more than bowling most of the time. But if the rankings are anything to go by, our bowlers are doing better in both formats, in both um, limited overs formats of the game, you know, ODI and T20s, right? So that might be something for us to consider. But, you know, that's all I have for you in this video, viewers and subscribers. You know, as always, thank you for tuning in. You know, don't forget to like the video. You know, share your thoughts in the comment section. You know, what do you think about these rankings and um, how our, our bowlers are doing compared to our batters? You know, and any other thoughts you might want to share. And don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know, um, thank you for tuning in as usual. And I will see you in the next video.